Iceland is one of the most remarkable countries in the world. It's the most volcanically active region on Earth. It offers an unbelievable challenge to the photographer. It has extraordinary geology, the most dramatic coastline you'll see anywhere, and very, very high contrast. I'm at the end of the Snafosnes Peninsula, the far western end. Locally, it's known as the end of the world, and by golly, it feels like it when the wind's blowing like it is today. Behind me is Snafosnes uh, Jokul, the great volcano that dominates this part of the world. There have been plumes of seawater being blown against these black volcanic rocks, and a great test for the IQ-260. This country is a great opportunity to test the qualities of the IQ-260. This has a 13-stop dynamic range, that is the best there's ever been. And of course, it's very high resolution. So for a landscape photographer where fine detail, subtlety, and tonal qualities are essential, this could be a really, really exciting development. When you have these bright white sunlit plumes of seawater, with white snow-covered mountain behind and then deep dark shadows of black volcanic rock. It really is a profound test, probably the ultimate landscape test for any camera system. This is one of the most primeval landscapes I think I've ever seen. It's a very bright morning with no clouds and that makes it really, really difficult to make a a kind of organic looking light and at the same time I can see there's potential so I'm just really going to experiment and use a neutral density filter to hold back the light so I can extend the exposure range which is a feature of this new back. Essentially while the shutter is open the waves move around and they leave traces on the sensor so you get this rather mysterious kind of look to the image. The overall effect looks quite interesting and, and well worth pursuing. I always expected Iceland to be a real challenge for a digital back, and so it has proved. I've had to work in sea spray. It's been really, really cold, high wind conditions, extremes of contrast, extremes of long exposure. All of these things would challenge any digital camera, but the IQ260 has come through it with flying colors. Hello.